beer time, which should be my last beer on my Minnesota work trip. We got the Flavor Wave IPA from Indeed Brewing Company with what I think is one of the coolest cans I've actually seen in quite some time. I'm a sucker for all the uh, Vaporwave new retro kind of stuff, so this one's pretty bitchin'. I like it. Uh, this one actually I have a good feeling about it. I think this is going to be a good beer, so wish me luck. Smells good already. Um, it's supposed to be real fruity. And I already get the pineapple immediately. A little fancy hotel glass instead of all my cool frosted beer glasses at the house. But uh, we're rocking a solid 6.2 on this one. Smells very fruity. Plenty of citra hops. This one's a bit more, a bit more my speed. It's definitely got a lot more flavor, a lot more interesting things going on. It's also very high IBUs for such a somewhat fruitier citrusy uh, IPA, rocking in at 73, which is when you're getting into big boy territory, if you ask me. But we got Citra Hops, Mosaic, Centennial, Eldorado, and whatever X06277 is. Never heard of that before. Cool. This one's actually pretty good. It's also a bit on the light side, a little, a little foggier. It's supposed to have pineapple, citrus, right, and stone fruit. Not really sure what stone fruit is either, but I guess it makes a good beer. Uh, this is actually relatively fruity, but still being very bitter. Uh, rocking it, rocking in at 73. Obviously, it better be bitter, right? Uh, but it is interesting. Usually when you get on this level of fruity, the bitter starts to plummet. You're, you're not going to hold both of those at such a high bar. And this one actually does. This is actually a very good beer. Definitely smells great. Smells a bit fruitier than it tastes. That's when the uh, all that bitterness hits you. You can't really smell bitter so much, right? This is a good one. This is a good one. I wish I would have had this earlier instead of some of the other duds uh, I've had up here. But uh, it's good. Solid 6.2. We got 73 IBU. Fruity. Well, we got one, two, three, four, five different kinds of hops. The one funny one that I don't think any of us have heard of before. Uh, maybe it's... I, I couldn't even tell you, honestly. I, don't, I figured maybe they grew it themselves, but that's probably unlikely. So I, I don't know. <laughs> Excuse me. But a good, bitter, relatively fruity IPA. With a really cool can. We, we know we uh, cherish our can art here. And this one is pretty darn cool. So for the off chance any of you guys watching or in the Minnesota area, this is one to go find for sure. We did that other Indeed beer yesterday. Not so much, nothing special. It was good, but just this one's definitely better. So that's a win for the night. And I'll see you guys when I get back home. Good old Georgia.